the BMW i8 Roadster has finally arrived, alongside an updated i8 Coupe. Both cars make their debut at the 2017 LA Auto Show with more power, an increased electric driving range, and new interior trims. The 2019 BMW i8 Roadster features an electric soft top that can open in less than 16 seconds and operate at speeds up to 31 miles per hour. The fabric roof contains additional soundproofing, according to BMW, and is stowed in a perpendicular position in the rear to take up as little space as possible. When the top is down, the rear window automatically raises by roughly 1.9 inches to help guide the airflow toward the rear. Unlike the i8 Coupe, which is a 2 plus 2, the Roadster is strictly a two-seater. There's still some storage behind the seats and roof compartment, though not much. Preliminary estimates place volume at 3.5 cubic feet. The cargo compartment in the rear can fit 4.7 cubic feet, so you'll have to take a different car to the fairway. As we heard previously, the introduction of the Roadster brings with it changes for the Coupe version, as well. Both the Roadster and Coupe receive a new lithium-ion battery pack with an increased 11.6 kWh capacity. This allows for a 12 HP bump in peak power from the front electric motor, bringing its output to 141 HP and 184 lb-ft of torque. The 2019 i8 still uses a 1.5-liter turbocharged inline 3 that makes 228 HP and 236 lb-ft. The i8s battery improvements bring its combined output to 369 HP and 420 lb-ft. In addition to adding power, the new battery pack enables a longer all-electric range. The 2019 i8 can travel 18 miles, up from 15 miles with the old battery. The 2019 i8 Coupe is estimated by BMW to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, and the i8 Roadster is set to hit that speed in 4.4 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour for both cars. The i8 can drive up to 65 miles per hour on electric power alone or 75 miles per hour in e-drive mode. Both variants use a carbon fiber reinforced polymer, CFRP, passenger cell and CFRP and aluminum butterfly doors. CFRP is also used in the side skirts, which are actually structural, according to BMW. Also aiding rigidity on the Roadster are additional panels in the suspension and special front and rear struts. A new aluminum 3D printing process was used to make lightweight parts for the Roadster's roof. The use of composite materials and aluminum helps bring the Roadster's weight to 3,515 pounds, or 132 pounds more than the 2019 i8 Coupe. Inside, the 2019 BMW i8 gets the latest version of BMW's iDrive infotainment system with an 8.8-inch touchscreen. Both variants get a head-up display, heated seats, a 12-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, and three driving modes, Comfort, Sport, and Echo Pro, as standard. A Terra World copper interior trim featuring premium cloth and leather upholstery in an Amido slash E copper color scheme is new and exclusive to the Roadster. Pricing has not been announced, but a BMW representative told us the i8 Roadster will start north of $150,000. The 2018 BMW i8 Coupe starts at $146,395. The 2019 BMW i8 Roadster and Coupe both go on sale next spring.
Mercedes hasn't fully redesigned the CLS since the 2012 model year, so it's about time a new version arrives. Now in its third generation, the CLS morphs into an increasingly functional coupe-like four-door. The 2019 Mercedes-Benz CLS 450, headed to dealerships next fall, gets a 48-volt onboard electrical system and five seats instead of four, with backrests that fold down in a 40-20-40 configuration. Mercedes isn't afraid to spruce up its design language every now and then, and the CLS features a noticeably sharper look compared to its predecessor. Up front, you'll find more angular headlights and a new radiator grille, which widens toward the base. The front end of the model slants forward, creating what Mercedes says is reminiscent of a shark's nose that's slightly reminiscent of the Ford Mustangs. Aerodynamics are aided by thin air vents ahead of the front wheels that help reattach the flow past the front wheel, and extremely slick side surfacing of the glass and B-pillar junctions, quiets the interior. Meanwhile, the rear looks less droopy, thanks to the redesigned tail lights. Mercedes also repositioned the license plate holder and the three-pointed star for a cleaner appearance. Now for what's under the hood. The CLS 450 comes with a new 3.0-liter inline-6 supplemented by an integrated EQ Boost electric motor buried in the transmission housing, a 9-speed automatic is standard. The car produces 362 HP and 369 lb-ft of torque, plus an additional 21 HP and 184 lb-ft available with EQ boost over short periods. But despite its 21 HP, roughly half of the car's available torque at low speeds is owed to the electric motor. EQ boost is paired with an approximately 1 kWhr, liquid-cooled lithium battery, located under the hood that supplements the gasoline engine's power, the engine and electric motor can't be decoupled so there's no EV-only mode. Up to about 100 miles per hour, though, lifting off the throttle shuts off the engine for what the Germans call sailing, the electric motor, that does starting and Reagan duties, refires the engine upon throttle application. Mercedes says the unit allows for fuel savings that could previously only be achieved with high-voltage hybrid technology. Inside the cabin, Mercedes shows less restraint. The opulent interior features standard leather seats, navigation with map updates, a 12.3-inch display, and 64 ambient lighting options. There is also an energizing comfort feature, which adjusts cabin fragrance, heat, ventilation, and massage settings to six themes. Other high-end features include three new Napa leather upholstery options, a 12.3-inch instrument cluster, a Burmester 3D surround sound system, a head-up display, and an inductive wireless phone charger. On the optional driver assistance package, Mercedes said it improved the lane change helping feature as well as the camera and radar systems. The CLS can also now calculate driving behavior based on map and navigation data. At launch, Mercedes will offer an addition one model with copper accents. The model also receives special badging, black pearl napa leather, natural grain black ashwood trim, and a special diamond grill with matte chrome pins. Pricing for the rear drive 2019 CLS 450 and all-wheel drive 2019 CLS 450 for MATIC will be announced at a later date. The model arrives in the US in fall 2018 starting with the 4 MATIC variant. Displayed in Los Angeles, the facelift Range Rover SV Autobiography has all the right ingredients to make you forget about the Bentley Bentayga and Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It's large, good-looking, and extremely well-equipped, with its generous features that include hot stone massage function, with heated calf and foot rests, for the individual rear seats, and rear entertainment system with two 10-inch displays. 
sitting at the rear gives you over 4 feet, 1.2 m, of legroom in the 2018 Range Rover SV autobiography as well as access to a small refrigerator that can keep two wine or champagne bottles cool, and to the center console that can be used to control a number of features. You'll never be late anywhere either, thanks to the Zenith clock, just don't ask how much it costs, though. And since we're talking numbers, you may want to take a seat before reading about its starting price, $207,900 in USA, and that's before checking out the options list. For those of you counting, that's about $20,000 less than a base Bentley Bentayga. Some might say that the 2018 Range Rover SV autobiography is a lot of car for the money, but we have a feeling that this is only the beginning, as even more extravagant and expensive SUVs will likely arrive in the coming years. After all, where there's a will, there's a way, right? Land Rover has introduced the Discovery SVX concept at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Designed to preview a production model that will be launched next year, the Discovery SVX was created by Jaguar Land Rover Special Vehicle Operations to be the ultimate off-roader. As a result, the model has been equipped with skid plates, recovery hooks, and an integrated rear winch. The model also features an LED light bar, modified bumpers, and 20-inch alloy wheels with Goodyear all-terrain tires. Thankfully the changes are more than cosmetic as engineers installed an upgraded four-wheel drive system with locking center and rear differentials. The SVO team also added a bespoke air suspension, long travel dampers, and revised knuckles. The company says these changes help to improve the Discovery's approach, departure, and breakover angles. Rounding out the off-road features are an optimized terrain response 2 system and a hydraulic active roll control system which helps to improve wheel articulation, body control, and off-road traction. While the exterior changes are pretty dramatic, the cabin only sees minor revisions. These include a pistol grip shifter and two-tone seats with rush orange accents and perforated X logos. Last but not least, the Discovery SVX features a supercharged 5.0-liter V8 engine that produces 525 PS, 386 kilowatts, and 625 Nm, 461 lbft, of torque.
The new Subaru Ascent has landed in Los Angeles, ready to pick a fight with the Honda Pilot, Ford Explorer, and Chevrolet Traverse, among others. However, until it proves itself worthy of challenging other three-row SUV across North America, it's trying to get the attention of potential buyers in this highly competitive segment with a very civilized, others would say boring, exterior design, and a versatile cabin that can carry up to eight passengers. You can bash Subaru all you want for its timid design efforts, but you can't deny that they know what their core audience wants, as proved by their sales momentum with 71 straight months of increased deliveries in the states. The devil, as they say, is in the details, as where the ill-fated Trebekah failed, space, the new ascent more than makes up for it. At 196.8 in, 499.9 cm, long, 76 in, 193 cm, wide, and with a wheelbase of 113.8 in, 289.1 cm, this is the largest Subaru ever. It builds upon the ascent concept shown this year in New York, which, in turn, is derived from the 2016's Visiv 7 study, and beneath its new sheet metal lies a modified version of the company's modular vehicle platform. By the time it arrives at dealers next summer, American customers will get to choose between one of four trim levels. Each one is well equipped, even the base model, which comes with features such as infotainment system, smartphone connectivity, three-zone automatic climate control, and automatic emergency braking. However, regardless of their selection, they will have to settle for the 260 HP and 277 LB foot, 376 Nm, of torque 2.4 liter boxer engine, with twin scroll turbo and a CVT.